what a kick. It's a big kick with 100 to go. She's drawn in front of Miss Stella Bell. Peartart coming back, but Streamer in front and wins. Streamer first. Well, according to some judges, he is the best jockey in Australia. Huge Bowman taking Streamer straight to the front and uh, fighting on Gamely and winning a race that uh, looks a terrific form line for what might be the race at the Carnival in the Maya Classic. Boys, what do you think? The Maya Classic just shaping up to be a fabulous race. It's going to be fan, absolutely fantastic race, that uh, Group 1 Mayor's race on Derby Day. You're going to have pretty much the same field you had in the Tristark yesterday. Hopefully Machine comes through that OK and she can bounce back. Then you've also got to throw in some of the other mares that come around from the country. Certainly going to be a great race. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, at this stage, uh, normally in the past you've had uh, Typhoon Tracy and uh, other type of uh, red line mares that uh, really dominate the betting. This one looks like about four, four or five, six dollars the field. Yeah, absolute disaster. It's normally been a get out stakes for the punters just to have one of those absolute class. No, that's acts. the sprint about... race. That's the Northern Meteor well, about... or, the, or the Weekend what Hustler. About, what about Sacred Choice though? Knocking off time for in Tracy yeah. and, and who else got? Mm. I think it was another mm. short price for. I was just thinking then, imagine if more Joyce backs up after well, the Cox should. Plate. Well, she should. That's exactly what I was going to say. A, she should be in that race and not the Cox Plate. But B, is there a chance that they'll send her around again? You never know. Well, it's, uh, what's the weight scale there? She's set, set weights. Set weight, so she meets set it weights. beautifully, given the fact she's won 1,000 group ones. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at our uh, social media page. If you want to get a hold of us, this is how you do it. You can send us an email uh, at... TTYK, what is it? TTYK at tvn.com.au. So we've moved to Melbourne and you still can't get Gosh, this right. I never get this right. Uh, you can follow us at Twitter at TVNTTYK and our website, which is easiest to remember, puntersparadise.com.au. And uh, there's a tweet uh, Better Than Ready sets Randwick record, a start in the Group 1 Coolmore. Maybe on the agenda after that record-breaking win. What did you think? Oh, I thought it was a very good win and I think it's a very good horse. I do remember its first start. I had a few text messages from some friends up in Brisbane saying, make sure you're on this thing, it goes pretty good. When the markets come up, make sure you're over it. They absolutely smashed it. It got in all sorts of trouble in the run and was just way too good for them. It's taken a couple of runs to get right in Brisbane, but brought down to uh, Randwick on, over the weekend and was dominant. And this race certainly has been a good pointer towards uh, the Coolmore Stud Stakes. Uh, this is for you, Quinny, from... Uh, I don't think it's the real one, but at Dennis Cometti has asked how many thousands of litres of fake tan has been thrown about today at the Caulfield Cup? Well, there was 36,000 people there. What's, what's it's your a great thing, crowd. It was a fantastic crowd. I think it, and it was a really... It was and a, was the, okay. the, the level of fillies at an all-time high, Quinny, in your humble young opinion? Oh, look, the fillies race was good, but I think the 1,000 guineas form line will be stronger. The 1,000 guineas on the Wednesday was a better form race than the Caulfield Cup day. Going towards the Oaks, which is what I presume you're talking how, about. How does Geelong compare with all of that, boys? I've never I've been I've never to been. I'm on debut this yeah, week so at Geelong. Yes, so I'm my first starter at Geelong. I Shouldn't tried to just straight bat that and just get it back to let racing. Let me tell you, Dunedin and Americane <laughs> won first up at Geelong, so well, there's hope for you and me. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know about that. We'll Blinkers. see how we <laughs> Blinkers on. Tongue tight. Uh, this is chain. from theprofits.com.au. Uh, Don't you wish you could go back two weeks and keep your you-know-whats? Yes, had Dunedin to win. How is it that we let an $8 Melbourne Cup horse go around at $15 in the Caulfield? Barrier 18. And got out to $35 a fortnight ago. I, so. I, I was scared by the weight, 58 kilos. Well, the, the records, hand. we had the weight-carrying record the week before with uh, more Joyce. No horse had ever carried that weight to win a Caulfield Cup. No, no. And he won. And he did it easy. Yeah. Um, Australian owners might have to do more than buy overseas horses. They might have to get the trainers to come over. Uh, I read the stat about Dunedin winning more in three starts here than he could ever win in a career over there. He's won more than Frankel, says Jerry from Mossman. It was, it's an amazing, uh, amazing well, performance. But uh, speaking of these French trainers, I can imagine there's going to be a few more of them uh, eyeing off our races next year. And we've seen with Brigant and Andre Farber, he's, he's coming to Australia for the first time. So uh, I get him to say the uh, French uh, trainer's name after he mucked up Brenton Abdullah. <laughs> If I keep oh. saying Abdullah a few more times, can we, can we make um, up for that? But hang on, that's a bit harsh, though. I mean, you look at what no, Peter Moody's done up. with Manigart. No, not the pronunciation, oh, you idiot. <laughs> um, you look at what, uh, you know, how far Manigar improved since going to an Australian trainer. Oh, I think our trainers are the best in the Glenn, world. Glenn Cadam Gold was... Exactly. Uh, December hacko, draw. Hack overseas. Now look at it. Yeah. Um, the record's not bad, though. Uh, Takta Boystrin, this is from the forum on Punters Paradise, beat Shawadi at level weights earlier this year. Also has an advantage on a lot of overseas horses as he was sent to Michael Kent early uh, and as Jackalberry his jockey has uh, forgone some big rides in Japan as they wanted the same hoop for both cups. Jackalberry uh, didn't really perform that strongly in the Caulfield Cup, it was okay but wasn't the mm -hmm. best of runs but uh, 
We'll know more about Tact to Boisterous at Wednesday. OK, well, let's uh, switch our attention across to Sydney. There was a couple of big wins in Sydney. We mentioned one just a moment or two ago. Uh, better than ready as we look at the replay. Uh, this is a pretty hot race, this Brian Crowley race. It certainly was, and they run at a very quick tempo, broke the track rec record, but you were saying there's a quite a... Strong There's a cut. tailwind there. I would have broken uh, 11 seconds for the hat last time. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it's a very good tailwind. Stop it. 11 seconds for the 100. The inside was off. I would have had to come down four horses <laughs> That'll out. That'll do me. No, I a very good up. race. And uh, Rick McMahon, I think he had three rides. And they were cracking. His best ride was when he got beaten, I think, in one of the later races. Yeah, and he's, he's certainly a very good job up in Brisbane. But uh, it wasn't a bad day at Randwick. It was certainly a very good betting card. A lot of uh, decent plungers. Unfortunately, the ones I are on. Oh, the one that we're all on, Famous Seamus, $6 into $4.20. And at the 200 you wouldn't have given four cents for your ticket. Robin Freeman Cree. Robbie Freeman Just flex the muscles. Come on, baby, the little hyphenator. <laughs> did you ever been in the race, did you, Ross? Oh, mate, seriously. I think, that you know when you get to a day, a stage in the day where you think, I'm cast, <laughs> but I'll just, I'll dip in once more. Well, that was the third time I dipped in <laughs> once more. She bailed me out. Then I found something in Brisbane. Then I backed the Wallabies to lead at half time. What about Rose of Lincoln? And what Rose of Lincoln jumped in there as well. And finally, uh, we at about nine o'clock, I went and bought twenty dollars worth of fried rice so the kids could eat. <laughs> it was a tough day. At God the office. bless the pun. Uh, deedy, deedy, deedy. Uh, don't forget this weekend, of course, plenty happening in Sydney at the races. And uh, what our advice is, of course, uh, before you know it, the uh, Melbourne Cup will uh, come right around. Now, this year is a little bit different in Sydney, of course, with the races because the major meeting is at Rosehill Gardens. The uh, picnic meeting is at Randwick. So all of the function centres have been uh, pretty well booked already. So you have to get in nice and early if you want to be a part of the races in Sydney at either Randwick or Rosehill Gardens. Good meeting at Rosehill Gardens. Yeah, it certainly will be. The Melbourne Cup meeting is, as you mentioned, always at Randwick. But I reckon that's a great thing for the people of the Western Sydney to get a, uh, a, a proper meeting? meeting on Cup Day because there's plenty of business. There'll be 30,000 people there on Cup Day at Rose Hill Gardens. Yeah, I think it'll be great. Most of, of the serious things. punters will go to Rose Hill exactly. and uh, a lot of the party goers will go to Randwick and uh, they can watch uh, a few of the... Uh, the Billy Bloggs <laughs> going around with 68 kilos Mr. on Mr Blake back. Ryan. No, no, I, I thought he's he going would to have been, Hong Kong. He's going no, to Hong no. Kong. I thought he'd be a start there he's for sure. He's going over to Hong Kong, exactly. Yeah, so plenty of... Make sure you go to theraces.com.au, book your tickets for Melbourne Cup Day and Derby Day as well.